Hello everyone, Janet here again. Right, so again, as I've explained in previous videos, I'm on a journey to healing an eating disorder using the book A Course in Miracles. And many of you might not be familiar with what A Course in Miracles is about, so that's why I've made this video to give you a bit more of an understanding because I'm going to read some extracts from the book itself. And basically the book <clears throat> is all about returning to love. There's a lot of Christian terminology within it and it's, it's about changing your mindset from all the fear and hate to one of love. So that's the main premise of the book. It was channeled by a lady called Helen Schreckman and basically she wrote it through her channeling and um, this is some of the information in the um, in the beginning of the book that I'd like to share with you. Okay, so the first part I'm just going to read. Some of the ideas the workbook presents you will find hard to believe and others may seem to be quite startling. This does not matter. You are merely asked to apply the ideas as you are directed to do so. You are not asked to judge them at all. You are asked only to use them. It is their use that will give them meaning to you and will show you that they are true. Remember only this, you need not believe the ideas, you need not accept them and you need not even welcome them. Some of them you may actively resist. None of this will matter or decease their efficiency. But do not allow yourself to make exceptions in applying the ideas the workshop contains. And whatever your reactions to the ideas may be, use them. Nothing more than this is required. Now there are 365 lessons to go through, one per day for one year. And although you're not expected, well, you don't have to do one every day for a year. You might actually want to stop on one of the lessons and, you know, carry on with it and have, go another day with it. That's fine. You've got to go at your pace with each lesson. So. I'll see how I get on. I'm going to, you know, do it at my pace and hopefully you'll all follow along. And if there's a few of us and we want to repeat a lesson, then we can do that. That'll be great. I also wanted to read this part. This is just something that kind of sums up the book, I think. This course is a beginning, not an end. No more specific lessons are assigned, for there is no more need of them. Henceforth hear but the word, the voice of God, or which I like to call the universe, the voice of the universe. He will direct your efforts, telling you exactly what to do, how to direct your mind, and when to come to him in silence, asking for his sure direction and his certain word. What it says, nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God, or the universe in which I feel more that word resonates with me better but you use whatever word makes you feel you know connection so this is how a course in miracle begins it makes a fundamental distinction between the real and the unreal between knowledge and perception knowledge is truth under one law the law of love or god truth is unalterable eternal and unambiguous it can be rec unrecognised, but it cannot be changed. It applies to everything that God created, and only what he created is real. It is beyond learning because it is beyond time and process. It has no opposite, no beginning, and no end. It merely is. So it's a course that really is going to change your mindset. Because I think with an eating disorder, we're very swept up in the conditioning of this world and how this world has made us feel and what we believe about ourselves and how we have adapted to this world. An eating disorder is definitely something that is making you feel like you have to fit a mould or it's a way of escaping the world. It's so many things, so many facets to it but it's it's getting our heads out of this conditioned world into a world of peace that I believe will help us heal. And I think with others together we can fight it 
well maybe not even fight because I think once you get this material there's no fight needed it just becomes peaceful life becomes peaceful and that really is my true goal to just be at peace in the world once and for all and I wish that for all of you too so that's just a little snippet of what is to come so um, I hope you follow along because I will be starting the lessons soon and um, that's it for me today thanks now bye